Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. So we are carrying on with Oak Island, which I'm hoping is the name of it because I just saw it. It'd be a bit embarrassing if I, got, if I forgot that straight away. Carrying on with Oak Island. So last time we built a little bunch of rides down here. We also sorted out some queues, smashed some scenery on stuff to make them a little bit more enticing, that sort of thing. We'll speed it all up. Just so we could actually try and get a little bit of money coming in. So we seem to be actually making a bit of profit now, slowly got some money coming in. I think we also started some research going last time, or did we finish the research or did we not start it? I can't remember, because we do not have any other rides we can build. We have one of all of these rides already. Obviously we could build more than one of them, but I think that always feels a little bit... It's a little bit cheaty, isn't it? I think if anything you want to try and have one of each, you don't want to double up on rides really. I think that's a bit... it's not ideal, is it? Is the, is the short answer. So at the moment, these are not very... Oh, this one is very busy. These are not very busy at all, are they? Has made a profit, though. That one didn't. That one did, but only just. Whereas that one... Woo! Super busy. I want to go on it. I want to go on it. I want to go on it. The queue is quick. The queue is quick. I'm not queuing that long. Yeah, so nothing really wrong with these rides. Just not many people going on them. This one over here is very busy as well. And the rest of them not too bad. Uh, not too busy even. The roller coaster is obviously fairly busy. This one over here, this steam car ride is relatively busy. The train we shut down because it was just costing us money. And doesn't have any other stations, so it was a waste of time. So where could we put a station? If it's got to be on a flat, I suppose we could put a station here. Up at the far end, maybe, and then another one down. Do we need one down there? Probably not. Probably not. I've already gone off that idea straight away. So the money is slowly coming in. The next thing we need to do is build a coaster. We need to build a range of coasters for this scenario. What I'm hoping is, because this one, this one, and this one are all relatively similar, so it's all hit a certain excitement, a certain length with inversions. So that's five excitement, one inversion, 400 meters. That's slightly more again. And then the hard one is 10 inversions, 1500 meters long, at least six excitement with no more than four nausea, no fear requirements, which is quite nice. So what we're gonna try and do is build the hard one straight off the bat and hope that satisfies the requirements for the medium and the easy as well. That's the plan. Now, in theory, that doesn't sound too bad. Whether it works out that way or not is another matter entirely, of course. Because who knows? Who knows? So what do we have in terms of coasters at the moment? Obviously, it needs to be one that does invert. I can make this bigger, can't I? Yes, we need one that does invert. So any that don't invert, first of all, so we can rule those out. This one here, the Hypercoaster. Two of the Hypercoasters. Uh, Anubis and Equalizer. Can invert, can invert, cannot. So the Charles one's out. And the Monster is out as well, the wooden one. So of these other ones, which is the cheapest pretty much? Because we're going to have a bit of a money problem. Probably going to be this crazy one here, the Looney Turns. That's almost certainly going to be the cheapest one, isn't it? I can't really think of a reason why that why it'd make have any sort of impact on the ride aside from that. So let's narrow that down. Now we said we were going to build our coaster over this end over here. This building's gonna be a bit of a problem, isn't it? I think. What if we do it here? Where's the path? The path there. So if I build it there, actually, that might be quite sensible. I have to bring it in a little bit. Yes, yeah, so if I build it there, let's try that. And then the queue can come along up here, the exit right there. Yeah, and then this has got a bit of room to come back in on itself to do that. All right then, so we need to build a chain lift. First of all, we're gonna throw this up at a nice steep angle and crawl, make it 10. It's gonna have to go up relatively high to do a 10 inversions, although 
Of course, doing rolls does count as an inversion, obviously. Why wouldn't it? So we could just do a series of rolls as well to help build our numbers up. So it doesn't have to be a loop. It can just be a corkscrew type thing instead, which is lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. All right, so let's get this coming down a little bit. That's all we can get it down to start with, apparently. So let's make that a little bit shorter. And then stick that length back up again. Now we should be able to do... Yeah, okay, we can do that. Don't want to do that quite at the moment. Or do we? What if I just do like a... What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Let's have a look at this first. So we could stick in something like this. We can't really change the angle of it though, can we? We could do something like that. What if we do something like that? How does that really work? If we start the test going, and keep an eye on the heat map in terms of excitement and nausea we're looking for. Obviously, excitement's going to be very boring going up there. It doesn't go up very much, does it? I guess that's because it's going quite slow there. We'll do I have to hit six excitement. Six excitement isn't too bad, is it? So let's get rid of that. Is there anything else that looks like it might work? I don't think so. I think I'm just going to have to, for the first one, I think I'm just going to have to start bringing it down, building up some speed, I think. So if we come down at 50... And then put in... Why can't I do that? Don't know. It's not a money thing. I haven't hit the edge of the map, have I? Oh, I have hit the edge of the map. Oh, okay. So that is going to be a bit of a problem. So, we are going to need this section here, which we cannot currently see. If we make this, bring it back up to 10 meters again. And bring it down, and we're also going to have to bring that around. If we just go for the full 90 degrees in one turn, it's going fairly slow, so it shouldn't matter too much. And then straighten that out. Now what can we do? What if we do something like that? That's all pretty nice. How's nausea? Horrible there. But let's just see what happens. Let's just go for it. Let's just do some things and let's just see what happens. I have to keep an eye on our speed a little bit because that's going to be the issue. Because that's why Norge is quite high there because it's going pretty fast. So if we stick in a loop and make a relatively big loop, the inclined ones don't work because they don't actually invert properly. So they're not going to work all that well. So what if we do something like that? Make that a little bit bigger. Ooh, it's going very fast there. That's going to be horrible for nausea, isn't it? Not as bad as I thought, actually. Not as bad as I thought. Okay, let's stick with that. Now we want some sort of roll going over to the right. It's nowhere near going to have enough speed to do that, is it? No, 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 no. What about that one, though? I don't think that's going to work, because it's almost as high as the climb is. Oh, hang on. People are thinking about quitting. We can't have that. We already had people quit before, didn't we? Let's have a quick look at this. Yeah, his happiness is super low. Why is it so low? Um, well, let's, let's train him up. $340, there you go. Don't really know what else I can do about him. Janitors aren't insanely happy either, so let's get those trained up. Everyone else is alright just about. I don't really know what I can do about him. Anyway, so did it make it? If we have a look at the, uh, the nausea fear. 
Look at previous run. Oh, no, I don't know. Where is it? It's just starting off a run now. Okay, let's just watch how it goes and see if it makes it across this. I don't think it is. I already think it's a bit of a long shot, but we should find out. Speed it up again. Yeah, no way. No way is it going to make it around that. Don't know why I even bother trying. What else have we got? Demonic knot? No, that's not going to work. Oh, no, it's not what I wanted. Hmm. No, that's pretty, pretty big, isn't it? Is it not going to make it up that either? Is that what you just said to me? Let's change the light so I can actually see what I'm doing. Stop and start that test again. It's not going to make it up that. Alright. So let's do some sort of dive roll then instead, shall we? I know we have a few of those. Uh, I was hoping that would go a bit further to the side, really. That's too much. Okay, let's do the... Where's it gone? Let's do that. And then start bringing this around. If we do about 30 degrees... Stick it up on 10 meters. And then straighten it out. In fact, we probably just could do, go into something straight away there, couldn't we? What could we go into? Something like that? Well, that might actually work there, might it, Nick? It's got that speed from that, that drop anyway. Let's try maybe not that one. Does that actually invert? I don't know. I don't know whether that class is an inversion. What if we go into some form of loop? What if we do that? And how many do we think we're up to now as well? One. Two. Maybe only four or so. Maybe only four or so. There's going to be a point where it can't make though, so let's just see how that's going to work for us. Yeah. Not going to make that one. So we're going to need to start relying on our rolls a bit more. If we just auto-complete from there, and obviously that ending's going to be an absolute disaster. Well, not too bad, really. Let's just see how that works out in terms of particularly the number of inversions we're concerned about. Nausea's good. Excitement's good. Number of inversions, seven. So that would probably hit... Well, how long is it? Because this needs to be 15... Oh, I forgot it had to be 1,500 meters. Oh, bugger. I forgot it had to be so long. Huh. So we're only halfway there in terms of length, which is going to be a huge problem. But I quite like the coaster. I don't really want to lose it. So we might have to just stick with this for the first two, which will do the excitement, the length, and at least five inversions. We might have to build another one. 
for that there. I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's just check this end, make sure it's not too horrible. Let's look at previous run. That's fine. Fear's not too bad towards the end either, actually. How's speed towards the end? It's pretty fast. But then it's all green, isn't it? So that's probably not too much of an issue. So let's just stick with that as it is then. And let's... What am I doing? What am I doing? Place an entrance. Why can't I place an entrance? There we go. Place an exit. Which works out beautifully. Connect the entrance to a path. Oh, am I not going to be able to go underneath this? Oh, crap. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. Okay, what I can do... Can't come over this either. What if I make this a higher... Can I get this underneath here? No, that's not going to work. So let's do that. What if we... Oh, why won't you work? Not that. Not that. Okay, this is a bit more like it. So we'll send this queue up here and then pop that there. Yeah, there we go. There is the easy objective complete. So it's done the medium and the easy. So if you had managed to make the long one, it would have done both of those, but we can't have just have to build another coaster. That's not the worst thing in the world. We do have to build three rides with at least six excitement anyway. And as we don't have any standard ride which hits six excitement that might actually work out all right for us because if we just build the other two coasters yeah that'll work that'll work all right then all right then what was the excitement on this coaster reach 80 miles an hour eight excitement and six fear it's not far off, but I don't know how we'd pull off another... It's a lot to get from it. It's a lot to get from it. And we could probably do that a lot easier without having to worry about the inversions and stuff like that. Do we still have... a mechanic? Because he was thinking about quitting. Oh, we do. We just have multiple broken rides, so hopefully he'll get to those quickly then. Alright, so let's... open that up. And that will help us just drag in that extra money that we need as well. We could also put another flat ride down here maybe, maybe one over here as well to get more people coming down this way. So for that, we are going to need to get some research going. So let's get some research going. Let's just do that. The vaguely annoying thing is we'll have to build a possible... Oh no, I suppose we don't have to build a different kind of coaster, do we? It'd be nice to, but it's not really required. So maybe that's not too much of an issue. What is the... What is the maximum speed it reaches? It only reaches 62 miles an hour. So the other one's going to have to go a lot faster. I might do a launched one for that, I think. I think that'll make a lot of sense. Yeah, floods of people coming down here, look. Let's go into our research a second. And let's stick these all up on their maximum allowance to get those done as quick as possible. I wonder if we could connect this down here. I suppose it's already connected there, so it's not too far, is it? Yeah, the coaster's looking nice and popular straight off the bat. 
I've only got the one car, hasn't it? Can we change that easy? That seems a little silly. When the ride is open. Let's close the ride. Now we can only have the two. We can only have the two, but two's better than nothing. And that's because we had a relatively small station. If we increased the size of the station, we would have been okay. So let's wait for that to finish testing so we can open it up again. Having two cars means we'll just drag in that little bit of extra money as well, doesn't it? Alright, open it up. And it hasn't affected the ratings? No, the ratings are all the same, excellent. So the next one we build, we will remember to have a slightly longer station so we can have more cars and just drag in a bit more money. That'd be brilliant. How many rides do we have that are broken down? Well, just the one and the steam train's bro uh, closed. That's fine. That's not too bad. Okay, here are our first guests coming down for the... What is this one called? Looney Turns. The new and improved with multiple cars. Where's the other car? Oh, it's gone. Okay. I wonder if there's anyone on that. Does look quite cool, doesn't it? I do like that. So we need to build two other coasters, one of which has got to be absolutely massive. Where are we going to fit that in? I guess maybe like this corner and then over here? That'd make sense, wouldn't it? I think that's going to be the plan. So the inversion one... I know the inversion one is the long one. What I might actually do then is try and build this one before we build the 10 inversion one. I might do that because I think that will probably be a bit easier than that. Eight excitement is, a, is tough though. Eight excitement is tough. And if you have a look at the coaster blueprints we've got, I doubt anything we're going to come all that close. Oh, saying that. Saying that. Eight excitement. What did it have to do? Six fear and 80 miles an hour. That would probably do that, actually. I might just do that, just so we can get through it a bit quicker. I suppose what I could do is I could have a go at building one, but then we've got that one there if we need it. I'm assuming that, that would reach 80 miles an hour. That's the, the problem, isn't it? How is our research going? All done, all ready to go, excellent. So let's reveal these. And then let's come down here and build a couple of rides then. Probably want thrill rides if we've got them, just because this is kind of exciting, isn't it? So we've got the 360 power, I think that's pretty big. Oh, it's not too big. The genie and the hammer swing was the other one, was it? Yeah, it must have been. The genie's very big, isn't it, I think? Yeah. That would be a bit of a struggle to fit in anywhere. I suppose we could sort of do that. I suppose we could do that, couldn't we? Hmm, okay. Why does it have to be so high up? Oh, it doesn't there. Okay. We get it about there then. If we do that, and if we put the entrance around here, and the exit there, if we do the exit first, That's insisting on using the natural path. That's okay, we'll just do the natural path then. Ah, then we can do that. Excellent. That's what we want. Oh, we haven't done the queue for the Looney Turns, have we? We'll do both of these at once then. I'll even put the entrances right next to each other as well. Like that. Excellent. Alright then, so let's get some queue stuff going. So not shops and facilities. We want some bins to start with. 
So we'll put one up there. One in the middle of those. In fact, we'll just do one there as well. And where's the exit? It's down here. So a couple there as well. Excellent. All right, then. We'll do our street lamps because we are enjoying the street lamps in this one. Having our queues all nicely lit up. And that looks quite good. And then when we get to the stairs, of course, we're going to have to start plopping them up on the actual banisters, I suspect. Can we get the next? We could put it sort of just next to the banisters there. Let's try that. Now, ah, these have started. But they're all just floating in midair, aren't they? Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, let's get rid of those. Although I'm not too particular, I'd rather not have them just floating randomly in midair. So let's get them on the actual banister then, shall we? At least it looks like it's actually physically possible for them to exist in that plane. I'm gonna keep them all facing the same direction. I think that looks quite nice. Let's stick some banana trees down amongst these down here. Now, I'm pretty sure that's not going to be enough. No. So, let's stick some of our lovely little flowers. Oh, in fact, we could actually put them down here, couldn't we? Now, see if that's enough, and if not, we'll put some in between the banana trees as well. Ooh, it's just about, just about. Okay, so let's bump that up to 14. $14 a head. And then we need to do something over here. So let's get the street lamps out. And start throwing a few of these around. These I am going to change around a little bit. But I'm probably not going to bother on the banister one so much. Okay. I'm um, Kai. Oh, not down in the middle of the ocean. Not entirely useful. All right then. Now I'm gonna go ahead and assume that lights are not enough. Oh, they're not far off really, are they? In fact, let's do some banana trees first before we do anything else. Nope. And then we'll do some little yellow bushes down around the front here. I'm guessing that would probably just about do it. Yes, indeed it will. So let's open it up and let's bump that up to $8. You, hang on, stop, pause. Why didn't you go on? I spent so much I can't go on. Well, I'm all right with that, actually. No one gonna go on this? Well, there we go. I'm guessing you got an issue with money as well. Genie one is so expensive, so it's immediately let's put that down to seven dollars then. That hasn't helped hugely, has it? I thought that might entice a few more people in. So what I might do then is just throw down some more of these little yellow bushes. Just to make it a bit more enticing. We can get that Q rating up. Yeah, okay, so that, that should do it really, shouldn't it? I 
All right, and whilst that's going off, then we'll try and keep an eye on that and we'll build another one down here. Do we want the 360 power or the hammer swing? Hammer swing is not going to fit, so... Yeah, that looks a bit more reasonable. We should be able to get that one in, should we? Ooh. Now that I've said that... Now that I've said that... Not so sure. Has to go pretty high up to get it fitted in, doesn't it? Get fitted in. Terrible English. Ooh. Ah, okay. We'll go in there. So let's put it in there. The entrance we will have around here. The exit here. First of all, we should connect the exit to the path. And then we shall do the queue. I'm hoping that will get a little bit of scenery rating from the stuff it's next to as well. Oh, look at that. It does. Beautiful. So let's put that up to $10. Open that up straight away. All we really need... Do we probably don't even need bins, do we? There's a couple nearby already. Okay, so this is really not very popular. I'm kind of disappointed. I thought that would do more. I want to go in the queue as quick. Well, that's got a few people going on it already, so maybe we're not too bad. So that's quite a busy little section now, isn't it? It's looking a little bit better. Hmm, okay. So then, I might leave that around there then. We've managed to hit the easy objective. The medium objective will come. Next time we shall build the eight excitement coaster, I think. We'll do that one and then worry about doing this one. Once we've done those two, this and this will just come naturally as well. Looks like we're okay for money now, so we're not going to need to worry about building any more flat rides. So all we need to worry about are the two coasters. So the inversion one, we'll probably have like all this area here to do. And then over here, going across the train line, we'll do the 80 mile an hour one. So we'll do, uh, what did I call say we'd do? We'd do the launched one. So I'll have a launched like, pew, and coming over here, do -do 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 -do, exciting stuff and around here. And if that doesn't work, we can always use our fallback, which was the coaster blueprint for Impulse, which hopefully, hopefully, would do the job. All right then. So very quickly, the general parish notice that we're doing at the moment. I'm moving house on the 28th, so I will not be around, or I'll, I'll try that again. I'll be doing reduced videos from the 21st of July to the 6th of August, which is what this, this video should fall smack bang into the middle of that pretty much. So there'll only be one video a day rather than the normal two. So it will take a little bit longer to get around to the series you know and love if there's only certain series you watch. Of course, that does mean that it gives you a chance to look at other series and check out some maybe some previous series that have finished off on the, on the channel before. Like, I don't know, Super Hot Arizona Sunshine. Um, other things that don't care at all. Call of the Star Seed, that's another good one. So anything like that, some of the VR stuff. So feel free to go and do that. I'm still contactable in all the usual methods, Facebook, Twitter, email, YouTube comments, everything like that. I'll still have internet, even if it's only on my phone for a few days. So I will be around, just not being able to do quite as many videos as I'll probably be quite busy, I imagine. Seems to be the case. If you do want to keep up to date with how the move is going, do follow me on Twitter, because that's where I'll be putting any updates up. It's been a hilarious disaster so far, so... I can only imagine it will continue to be a hilarious dash disaster in the future. Why can I not say the word disaster properly? That's so weird. If you enjoyed this video, please do click the like button. That would be very, very much appreciated. I really do love to know that you like these videos. Subscribe to the channel. Sorry, I was a bit hypnotized by this, uh, this ride here. Look at that. That's so cool. I don't know if I've ever really looked at it before, but that's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would be simply superb of you. Any comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. Otherwise, I shall see you next time for more theme park adventures. Oh, in fact, the last thing we'll do, I want to see what the new ones look like at night. Oh, this one doesn't have its cue lit up because I didn't have to do it. But these two are super bright. I've gone a bit heavy on the old uh, lights compared to the other ones, haven't I? Yeah, very br brightly lit. But still, it looks quite good. I do like the, I, I do quite like that little 
have to use different lights everywhere else, but I don't think we had those lights available, did we? These soft glow, oldie worldy lamp posts. Pretty sure we didn't have those, so those will have to do. And it makes those rides stand up from everything else, doesn't it? Which is quite nice. So it kind of works, kind of works. I like it. All right then. So I shall see you next time for more theme park madness in Planet Coaster Career Mode Extras. Thank you very much for joining me.